that's more, I leave that more to the club uh, to understand the circumstances and as well other examples that are very clear in, in the same position and uh, they will have to decide it. Thank you. Ian, talk to what? Hi, Richard. How are you? Very good, thank you. I mentioned there about Shakhtar and, and the way that they have to prepare. And, I mean, it shows, doesn't it, that football is important, but actually it's not the most important thing in the world. No, clearly not, uh, and especially when you're comparing with the situation that they are in. Uh, but as well, I think they have decided, you know, to use football with a lot of positive things that brings to life uh, in a really powerful way. And uh, I think it's, it's remarkable the way they have managed uh, and managing the situation and, and the unity of the country and, yeah, the capacity of a sport as well to bring joy to people's life. And uh, that's something that uh, we have to be very conscious of. You can't show any sympathy on the pitch, and, and after Saturday, I guess tomorrow is absolutely vital for you to, to go and win another football match and get another unbeaten 17 game, six month unbeaten run on track. Yeah, we have to start tomorrow, obviously. Uh, the desire is there. We want to desperately play these kind of matches, um, and we know, and the atmosphere is going to be terrific tomorrow night. So uh, let's produce that and, and end right to win the game. And last one from me. You mentioned this been a couple of times, and now you can't play foot matches and win foot matches with 10 men. Are you going to have to change the way, or are you going to have to ask the team to change the way they play then? Because you have had a lot of red cards since you come to the club. Maybe that's because you wanted them to be more aggressive and to show a, a tougher side, but maybe they're going a little bit too far with that? Well, I think that, for example, what happened in those three cases, nothing to do with aggression, in my opinion. Uh, but, uh, yeah, everybody's got his own opinion. Uh, we want to be super competitive when, when we are and, and we show that is great. Uh, when you show it and it go, doesn't go your way and you lose, it's something else. It's, it's part of the judgment. Simon, even standard? Okay, well, can I just ask you, is you and Timber close to playing tomorrow? And if not tomorrow, do you think you would be back to win the game? I think it's going to be close, obviously. We have to see how he deals with, uh, with training with the whole group because he hasn't done that yet. But uh, he will be pretty close, hopefully. No, it was a muscular injury. And can I just ask as well, obviously, with Van at the moment, there's a lot of, um, sort of clamour and hype around Ethan getting, getting more minutes, getting what they've seen off the bench and the cameos. How difficult is it for you when you've got a talent like that who's 17 to sort of say, I'll just throw you in from the start, play you, <laughs> so to try and hold you back, given he is a, a teenage boy? I think it's identifying moments, understanding. Uh, where he is, where the team is, and what is the, the optimal moment to throw a player in, in that context. He's already done a lot in a very short period of time, so let's take it a step by step and make sure those steps are consistent and, and can allow him to grow in the manner and form that we want him in, in the team. Claire? Hi, Hi. Well, it was different, obviously, because Leo has been playing more centrally. But uh, Gabi, obviously, he had a, a calf issue with the national team. And uh, and he came back and he wasn't fit enough to start the match, and especially what happened last year. When a similar circumstance, we lost him for five or six weeks. And we didn't want to do that. So we have to adapt that. and meant that we have to adapt as well our midfield. And there are options. Very difficult to... Very difficult to, to have a proper assessment because I expected the first 15, 20 minutes of Bournemouth away to be in a certain way that plan to. And we have to let the brownies settle a little bit to see a little bit more things. Uh, but yeah, there are different and new connections that obviously with the injuries that we have, we have to try. It's like the first time we played Leo and Kai, I heard a lot of things that while well, we're playing 4 4 2 and this connection, and then it was flowing and it was magnificent. So. Things need time in terms of um, unit connections, and uh, probably the, yesterday or the other day's game is not the best one to analyze and take a lot of um, things from it.